Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 17 of our series of session on Tally release 3.0 highlights and we are covering GST features of release 3.0. In this session, we will cover yet another feature where some of the organization would want to handle their GST liability between all the output as part of duties and taxes and input GST as part of current asset. Can we handle this kind of a requirement in Tally software? Yes, there is a way. So in this session, we will learn how we can set up this requirement. The liability of GST on the output will be treated as duties and taxes and the input GST we will classify under current asset and then see how the configuration is done. Let us go to tally and explore this option. The requirement is that you have to create three GST ledgers for output GST under duties and taxes and three GST ledgers as input tax under current asset. So let us see how we can configure this. First, let us take the output ledger, create an output ledger as output IGST. This will be under duties and taxes type of duty GST and tax type is IGST. We don't have to enter the percentage since we have captured at the company level. Save this. This way you have to create two more ledgers as output CGST and output IGST which I've already created. Now we have to create input GST ledgers which is going to be classified under current asset. That is the requirement. So let us say input IGST. This is going to be under current asset. Now we don't have the duties and taxes type of setup that we need to do to enable for Tally to recognize this as GST tax ledger. There is one configuration that you have to enable under F12 that is press F12 and if you notice here set ledgers to behave as duties and taxes you have to set this as yes and save this control a now you will have this additional option of behave as duties and taxes ledger set this to yes by pressing y enter and now you have this tax configuration so we're going to say this is part of gst enter and now the way we had configured under duties and taxes you're going to do the same thing so i'm going to select igst no need of entering percentage and save it control a so this way you will create two more ledgers for CGST and SGST. Let us view the chart of account. We have created three ledgers input CGST, IGST and SGST under the group of current asset. So you will see that they are all in this same straight line. Similarly, we have created three output ledgers under duties and taxes. So we have a customer and we have a supplier. Let us pass a transaction and capture the tax information. First, let us make a purchase entry. Supplier, purchase ledger, item, let us select stock item A. And let's say you're buying 10 numbers at 8,000, enter, no other item. Now, since this is a purchase where this is an input GST, so you will select input CGST and tally will automatically calculate input SGST and save this voucher. Important information that you have to keep in mind is irrespective of whether you create separate tax ledger under duties and taxes and under current asset the impact in the form is going to be the same irrespective of whether you create separate ledgers or common ledger for input and output under the same group of duties and taxes which is what we have been seeing in the previous sessions now let us make a sales invoice sales account and let us select the same item 15 numbers at 10,000. this time we are going to select output gst since the customer is a local customer we will select output CGST. The moment tally calculates tax automatically, that means you have configured your master properly. Output SGST and we save this. Let us go to the return form and see the impact of these transactions. We'll go to GSTR 3B report. We will notice that the sales invoice of 1,50,000 and the tax of CGST and SGST is captured here as our liability and 7,200 each is towards the purchase that we have made. Now we have to see the impact of these values in our financial statement. Let us go to balance sheet and see how these tax informations are representing. That was the primary objective of us creating these different ledger masters. If you notice here, under current asset, we have input CGST 7200, input SGST 7200 and under duties and taxes, we have 27,000 
that is you have to now press enter because in any report when you view the report in detailed mode tally will explode only to the first level of grouping since the ledgers are created under the second level of grouping which is duties and taxes which is under current liability when you press enter you will drill down and you can see the entry that we have captured for our sales now assuming that these are the transactions that are there we have to now calculate the gst liability that is to be paid for the month of april so 13500 is the output tax that we have collected and input credit that we have is 7200 so the net liability is going to be 6300 that we have to pay so now since we have created two separate set of ledgers for output and input we are going to pass a normal entry since we are capturing this as part of our accounting requirement so you go to your normal journal entry and then we are going to pass this entry and we are going to debit output cgst what is the input credit that is available with this 7200 7200 debit output sgst again 7200 credit input CGST 7200 then credit input SGST 7200 and you will observe here that the net output tax liability is now showing you 6300 and the input credit of 7200 we have completely set off against our total CGST liability save this accept kept and our written form shows the same thing let us now view our balance sheet and see the impact of this transaction and you will now observe that the input tax credit of cgst and sgst is become nil and when you go to duties and taxes account we will see that the balance tax that we need to pay is 6300 and 6300 for each of them and normally the way you make your payment entry you go and make your payment entry by debiting this output cgst ledger and crediting the bank or cash account the same kind of configuration you can do for accounts only company or for those service industries where they have not enabled the inventory you can create in the same way that we just now saw and you can manage your output and input separately i hope the simple configuration would have given you an idea of how you can handle the gst liability and the input credit between the two groups of liability and asset and we also saw how we can set off the liability with the input credit through the journal entry thank you all very much for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much